Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another Buckle Gun review. Today we've got one box of Armored Elite Booster Packs. So over here we've got 36 packs and we're really excited to open them. Uh, we've got three different kinds of packs. You can see we've got this uh, white dragon, I'm not sure who this is. We've got this... Uh, no, Beatrix is a bad. Well, anyways, you got this dark one. I think this is Enoch. I'm not sure. As we've said before, the show is not available in our country, so we don't know them. But everyone recognizes Drago. So that's three different pieces of art. And yeah, we'll be opening six packs today. We've got 36 packs, so we'll split this opening into six different videos. And yeah, let's just take a quick look at the booster box. It's quite cool. I mean, when we received it, the top part was a bit bent, but that's okay. So it says Bakugan Pro. Uh, I'm guessing that just means it's the TCG, trading card game. Uh, yeah, we've got the nice logo down here. All the boxes, I'm um, sorry, the booster packs. And taking a look at the back. Yep, you can see the three different artworks. And uh, Armored Elite. It's all printed quite clearly. Yeah, and that's really cool. We can even keep the box afterwards and put Bakugan there. So, uh, let's take out six packs. Would you like to take three from the left and three from the right? Three and three. Wait, you took one. Four from each. Oh. Okay, never mind. Well, I'll help you. All yeah. right. Yep, so we've got six packs here, and let's open them up in just a bit. All right, so we've got all the packs down here. Three of the White Dragon, two of the Darkest One, and one of Drago. If you know which characters they are, could you please tell us in the comments, because we really have no idea. So, all right, let's open the first one here. And yeah, the art is really cool. Nothing much in the back. So let's try and open it up. Why is it so hard to open? Oh my god. Hold on. Okay, never mind. We're just gonna have to. Yep. Oops. The the art kind of got destroyed, but that's okay. All right, and we've got our first bit of cards up here. Oh shoot! All right, so we've got dual faction cards. They look really, really cool. Okay, so our first card ever of Armored Elite, excluding the ones we've opened before from the packs. We've got a Nature's Wrath. So that's seven energy, and you get two thousand B, and you got trucks down there riding on the waves. That's Actually really cool. Okay, let's not dabble on too long. We've got uh, Aqua Slime, 3 energy, uh, Halt, Chaos, or Pyrus, and you can draw 2 cards. So that's pretty good. Um, okay, we've got Ooh. Pyrus, Titan Trox, 5 energy, 200 B, and 20 damage. Oh, that could be interesting to play. Alright, so we've got that. Uh, we've got Natural Defense, 3 energy, Block uh, Darker Sapirus and energize this uncharged. So there's more flip cards. Pyro Scorch, one energy, add three damage. This is just like Fireball, isn't it? There's a card Fireball, one energy, and get three damage as well. But yep, that's kind of cool. Dragon, uh, Drago shooting out lasers from his eye, it seems. So that's quite cool. Oh, it's like flip card and non flip card um, alternating. So we've got over and under, two energy, uh, Aquas and Ventus, and stop non aquas and non venters so that's cool then we've got ooh bakugia stealth thruster four energy you may play uh, when you play this energize the top card of your deck uncharged and you get 400 b as well so that's quite cool i think that's beatrix down there so the art's quite cool ooh okay we've got a hero lightning tail chaser sync you may reveal a card in your hand with the same name as the card you played to draw one card so Oh, that means that, let's say you have two super fuels, you play one, you can reveal the second super fuel in your hand, and then you can draw a card. That's quite cool, actually. You've got lightning uh, throwing around the Bakugan. This looks quite vicious, actually. So that's quite cool. <gasps> oh! Is this a Baku Elite? It is a Baku Elite! Oh my goodness, that is lucky. Alright, we've got Maximus Nilius, 8 energy. Rapid Fire, the second Rapid Fire card you play this turn is free. At the end of the turn... Uh, if you played this for free, you have to return it into your hand. I actually saw this before. It's cool, so cool. So, okay, we've got um, Nilius with the different hints. You've got Aquas, Pyrus, and... Um, sorry, not Aquas, but like you've got one blue, one red. Oh, actually, no, that's five hits. Sorry, my bad. So you have one purple, one red, one green, one yellow, one blue. That's really, really cool. Uh, yeah, 1,400B and 7 damage. But you can play for free if you play Rapid Fire. We have no rapid fire cards though, but yeah, this is really cool. Alright, so let's just put this over here. 
And we have... Oh, it's a hex. It's a hex. Energetic Decay. One energy and minus five damage. So that is quite cool. Ooh, I have no idea. Is this... Is this... Rise uh, it right... Ryazaru? No idea. It's kind of hard to see the, the hex, but yeah, it's... Actually, no, you, you can quite see it. It's quite cool. And... Oh, this has to be the epic character card, isn't it? So I think this is Pegatrix? No. Yep. Oh, uh, oh no, it's not. It's just, it's just a, it's just a title card, not the epic character card. But cards. it looks nice. Yep. All right. So I guess these are collectibles. So we'll put that there. All right, and let's open on, uh, open up pack number two. I'm so sorry. If there's a better way to open up the the packs, just let us know in the comments, and we'll we'll try not to destroy the art. But yep, uh, if it would even come out. Okay, there we go. All right. So. Uh, we've got Sting Laser, 5 energy, plus 500 B, and draw 1 card. Well, it's quite cool, we've got Chalks being traced by uh, Barbara. Barbara. So we've got uh, Prism Blast, 2 energy, add 300 B, and if your Bakugan have 3 or more Baku cores, you get 700 B instead. So that's quite cool actually, I like this card. Wing Arrow, 3 energy, plus 5 damage, oh that's really bad, but the art is good, so you know, well, that's okay. Divine Evolution, so it's dual uh, Ventus and Chaos. 2 energy at 200B, 2 damage, and if you have 3 or more Baku cards, you get 500B with 5 damage instead. So that's quite cool, it's like a, a Chaos Enoch. But that Enoch. means you need uh, a Bakugan that has a really, a really powerful magnet in order to get 3 cores. Yep, or you can get ability cards that allow you to attach more cores, which we don't have, or not a lot of anyways. Uh, Aquokinesis, 1 energy at 200B, and you may reveal a card in your hand that costs 1 energy to re-roll your Bakugan. Ooh, that's quite cool actually. So it's just a minor stat boost and you can re-roll. Um, Chaos Crescents, 1 energy at 300B, very solid. Wings of Aquos, 5 energy, when you play this, draw 2 cards, get 100B uh, and 6 damage. This is a rare, okay, so that's quite cool, Wings of Aquos. And we have, ooh yes! Pegatrix, uh, Hyper Pegatrix, 2 energy, 700 B, 7 damage. When you play this, you may pay additional 3 energy to draw a card. Ooh, that's actually quite cool. So, yep. It's very worth it. 700 B, 7 damage, draw up turn 2. Well, worth it for us at least, because the Bakan we have are not like the crazy... That was Ooh! Ooh! Hyper Nelius Ultra, 3 energy. Uh, while this has a Baku gear attached to it, get 700 B and 7 damage, and it has 800 B and 4. Ooh, that is really, really cool. I like that. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, and yep, this is a super rare. Alright, so I'm gonna put this here. And we have Diamond Enoch Ultra, 9 energy, 1400 B, and 14 damage. And ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, that art is nice. It sparkles. So cool. Alright, that's cool. And another Pegatrix. Okay, that's cool. And let's move on to the next pack. Alright, and the next set of cards we have. Uh, swift swirling darkness. So this is uh, aquas and darkers dual faction flip. Stop non darkers and non aquas. So that's quite cool. We've got the art of Gilator being sucked into the void. It reminds me of uh, season one with Masquerade from the original Bakugan. All right, we have uh, divine evolution again. So that's quite cool. Aquakinesis again. Uh, Carapace spin. One NG, one hundred B. Draw one. Uh, card and ooh, that is quite solid. I like this card. Is, is that what? Oh, Paran, I believe. <laughs> it's just cannonballing down into the city. That's so cool. All right, and then we've got Pyro Obliterator. Pyro Obliterator. Okay, that's quite a cool pun. Uh, dual Chaos and Pyros. Two energy plus seven hundred B. Oh, that is powerful. Nice. Okay, we've got uh, Cosmic Fireball, uh, Chaos and Pyros. Stop non Chaos and non Pyrus for 2 energy. That's quite cool. Actually, what if it is a Chaos Bakugan? You stop the non Chaos, then you stop non Pyrus. So, does it also stop Chaos Bakugan? I'm not sure. Um, we'll have to check on that. Nilius, uh, 4 energy, 600B, 12 damage. Very nice. Nilius looks quite different from the original series. I think we have the Diamond card. But yeah, that's quite cool. Oh, Vice Cutter. 4 energy, at 500B, you may destroy one of your Baku gear for 5 damage. Ooh, 
Yeah, I like these kind of cards where you have to pay a penalty and you get a boost, but it doesn't seem like a very worth it boost to destroy one of your gear for 5 damage, unless it's a cheap one. But yeah, that's quite cool. Uh, Dripping Poison. Ooh, the... Hmm, I, I don't know how to say it. The, the text is a bit weird. Um, oh, it's an awesome rare. Okay, I guess that's why. Dripping Poison. It's kind of hard to read, actually. I don't know what about it makes it hard to read. I guess it's like a bit 3D. Yeah, it's kind of like hard to see on the camera. But anyways, yes. So we have 6 energy, add 600B, and negate an action card. So you've got center pod down there. That's quite cool. And a uh, Venter Stink. So oh, 3 energy. Hex. Yep, so it is a hex. Uh, 600, uh, 3 energy minus 600B. So that's quite cool. Yep, that's nice. And we've got Feral. Hey, your favorite. Yes. All right. Now let's move on to the two um, darkest packs here. Okay. All right. So from the next pack, we've got Dark Rain. Two energy. Uh, dual darkest and aquas. Add four damage, and you may reveal a Bakugia card in your hand for 400B. So that's quite cool. You can get 400B and four damage for two. So that's quite neat. Um, we have Tail Whip. It's like a Pokemon ability. Three energy. Uh, stop Chaos and Ventus, and choose a player to discard a card. Ooh, that's, that's quite cool. Or, not and. Oh, sorry, or. And you can choose a player to discard a card, so that's quite cool. Ooh, Pyru Hammer. So, 6 energy at 100B and 12 damage. That's kind of expensive to get out though, but yeah, you can play those uh, heavy damage decks, that's quite cool. Hyper Dragonoid Ultra, 2 energy, 800B, 1 damage, but on a Helix, you get 11 damage. That's actually quite cool. So we do have a Dragonite Ultra and Aurora, so that will work very well. Energetic Decay, 1 energy, minus 5 damage, very nice for early game. Uh, Raging Darkness, 3 energy, at 10 damage. Oh, but okay, it's a dual Pyrus and Darkness, but still, 10 damage for 3 energy. Whoa. That's crazy. Yeah, it's quite cool as well. You got this back gun with, like, Shadow Flames. I believe that's Cyclone? Possibly. Use Cyclone. Mm-hmm. Okay, then we've got- Ooh! Ooh! It's a hero. Hydra's ult uh, Ultimate Gamer. So you got three energy. If you have seven or more energy cards in hand, uh, when you energize a card, draw a card. So that's quite cool as well. You've got Hydra's playing some combat games. So that's quite cool. Yeah, I like this card. I'm gonna put it with Lightning. Vice Cutter, again. So, yep, very nice. And, ooh, so we've got, uh... Hyper Hi Ultra. Yep. So it's in Aquas, you got 1000B, 5 damage for 4 energy. While this has a bucket gear attached, get 5 Frost Strike. So a lot of Frost Strike cards are becoming more prominent. It's a super rare. It's quite nice. I like the art. And we've got, ooh, uh, what's this? Another Hex. Um, hold on, can't really read the frames. Oh, it's, it's a super rare. Oh, that's nice. Uh, no, it's an awesome... Eh? Super oh, rare. super rare, yeah. Okay, Incendiary Flames. 8 energy. Make a Pyrus attack equal to the uh, damage of one of your Bakugan. Ooh, that is really cool. So, nice. And finally, we have Dragonoid. So, that's very nice. So far, the pack opening seems quite good. But we've got two more packs here, and then the rest will upload in a separate video. Alright, in the next set, we've got... Hyper Dragon Ultra, we've already shown this, really cool. Energetic Decay, we've shown this already, really cool. Darker Slice, 1 energy at 200B, ooh that's quite nice. Got the art of Enoch with his twin axes I think, so that's quite cool. Uh, Darker Storm, 5 energy at 11 damage. Um, I'm not so sure about this card, but yeah, looks pretty good. As in the art. Uh, Hyper Dragon Ultra, 2 energy, 700B, 8 damage, nice. Uh, Daku, Darker Tsunami, so we've got 4 energy, dual uh, Darkers and Aquas, 500B, 5 damage, quite nice. Ventus Fort, 2 energy, you can only play this before rolling. Uh, your Bakugan gets victory, energizes the top 2 cards of your deck uncharged for this turn only. Ooh, that's quite nice. So That looks like Trox, but Beatrix at the same time. No, it, it is definitely Beatrix at Winter, but yeah, that's quite a nice card. Next we've got Ultrasonic Speed. 3 energy, draw a card, you may energize a card in your hand uncharged. Ooh, that is quite nice. And you've got Shadow Ambush, an awesome rare. So we've got uh, 3 energy, 
Uh, yeah, the text is kind of weird as well, but it's okay. So, uh, add 5 damage. If another card causes you to reveal this card from your hand, give a Bakugan plus 2 damage. Ooh, so the cards are now getting um, passive effects. I like that. So, uh, yeah, I've got Nilius down here being swallowed by a void. It's quite cool. Interesting cards. And we've got Holy Plasma. So, 4 oh, energy. It's a super rare hex. Nice. So, for 4 energy, you get to draw 2 cards and add 100 B for every card in your hand. Ooh, so you can play those like massive hand decks. That's quite nice. And we got Nilius. Nice. Alright, we've got one final pack down here, which is the Dragonoid pack. Let's see whether we can get any other good stuff. But I think currently the pack opening is pretty good. I mean, we already, already got a Bakugan Elite, so I'm not, sh I'm not so sure how rare those things are. But yeah, it's really nice. Alright, and for the final one, we've got Nature's Wrath. Uh, this is the first card we received. Very nice. Hail Bracers, we reviewed this the other day. Uh, four, uh, 6 energy, 1000 B. Quite solid. Uh, Ventus Channel, 10 energy for 1000 B and 10 damage. Ooh, that's quite nice, but it's too expensive to play. Unless, of course, you can get those cores that reduce the cost of Baku Gear, plus other cards like Super Fuel. That's quite cool. Uh, Pyro Cannon, ooh, a lot of Baku Gears in this one. 2 energy, 100 B, 2 damage. Nice. Uh, easy to get out in the early game. Ooh, Rocket Braces, 4 energy. When you play this, make a Pyrus attack for 1. Ooh, that's quite a nice ability. I like this card. 300 B, 3 damage. Very nice. Ooh, oh, there's so many. Okay, Pyro Hammer, 6 energy. 100 B, 12 damage. We already showed this. Yes! Ooh, Diamond Feral, 8 energy. 1500 B, 11 damage. My brother's a big fan of Feral, so yeah, he likes this a lot. It's really nice. Okay, we'll put this over here. Next, we've got Fire Launcher, 5 energy. When you play this, uh, you gain 4 energy. Oh, so you effectively get this out for only 1 energy. So that's quite cool. 300B, very nice. Oh, what is this? Uh, super rare. So we've got uh, Spirit Speed. 3 energy. Uh, play a non-flip card from your hand with a cost of 5 energy or less for free. And you may pay an additional energy to play another non-flip card in your uh, with 5 energy or less for free. That's quite interesting. So you can if essentially play six and pay six energy to play ten energy worth of cards. So that's quite cool. Yep, spirit speed. Very interesting card. And you got Drago down there being sorted by flames and snow. Uh, ooh, and we've got uh, Diamond Cycloid. Ooh, that's very nice. Six energy, thousand B, thirteen damage. So that's really nice. And we get another Dragonoid. That's really cool. All right. So uh, that's really cool. We're just going to do a quick wrap up wrap up and uh, review of all the cards and then we'll end the video. So we've sorted everything into six nice categories. Uh, dual faction cards, flip cards, regular ability cards, heroes, um, Baku Gear, and uh, evolutions. And I must say that it's quite cool we pulled the Baku Elite, which was uh, Maximus Dilius. So that is really, really nice. Um, yeah, and generally all the other cards are really cool. We can run through them one more time. We've got two heroes down here. Uh, Hydorus and Lightning, and yeah, those are nice. Uh, out of the Baku Gear, nothing too special though. Who knows, we might get more stuff. It's quite cool that we got a bunch. Uh, flip cards, usually not too interesting. Uh, we've got the dual faction cards, which are always interesting with the color schemes and stuff. It looks really cool. Uh, got a Hex Energetic Decay, that's quite cool. Yep. And uh, yeah, just a bunch of ability cards. We've got this uh, awesome rare over here. Uh, Shadow Ambush. We've got uh, Holy Plasma Hex, that's really nice. Uh, Dripping Poison, and this Incendiary Flames. Incendiary Flames, I think. Yeah, it's really cool. So, yeah, that, those are the six packs that we've opened today, and we will continue the pack opening uh, in the future. And, yeah, of course, we will move a bit quicker just because we haven't seen a lot of the cards, so we stop to admire them. But, yes, and we also have these um, collectible character cards. We've got two Pegatrixes, two Dragonoids, a Nilius, and a Pharaoh. So we shall see what else we get. So that's about all the time we have for this video. Thank you very much for watching and we'll and see, see you, you next time. time.